Hey and welcome to Raspberry Gold. Last time we did uh, create a Node-RED based NVIDIA server. So we did read out our serial information from our ARS. Also our USB was converted to serial so we could read out this one. It was already NVIDIA data so we forwarded it to TCP. We took some data out and did a Node-RED dashboard. This time we want to read out the I2C sensor, which is not NMIR uh, formatted. So we need to get this in NMIR format to get it to open CPN to see barometric pressure and air temperature uh, provided by Node Red. Let's go. So this is our flow um, from last time and this was our dashboard and we saw the same on OpenCPN. Um, you can add several other information. I did this but this sh is not our topic today. Today um, we want to read out the i 2 c sensors. We start with the BME280 so you should go to install again, search for BME280 and there is a BM 880 node available. I did install this already. That works very good. And um, when you did install it, you will find it here in notes. And you simply pick your BM 880 I2C sensor and inject node. And it's important to trigger it from time to time because otherwise OpenCPN will throw away these values. Um, for the beginning, it's not important what you put into this node. So let's take the timestamp, but we do uh, configure a repeat of, let's say, every four seconds. We start with a debug node as usual, and you need to define an address. The typical address is the hex 76 for the beam 880. So we keep this one, deploy. To uh, get it working, you need, to, uh, of course, to connect the sensor. We did this in chapter seven here. So the four pins for voltage, ground, clock, and data must be connected. And you need to enable the i square c interface. As we don't have the desktop environment, we do this via PuTTY. So in interfaces, i square c, um, it must be enabled. And when it's enabled, um, it should work already. You can test it or find the addresses here as well. It's not necessary, but you can. For that, you need to have I, uh, square c tools installed and with i square c detect slash y and one, you get all um, used addresses. And when you did this, you should already see messages uh, coming in and you will see yeah, our three important uh, parameters, temperature, humidity, and pressure. And like we did it last time with the satellites in view, you can now use this path here to create some uh, yeah, charts or some gauges or your, your dashboard. However, this is not our topic today. Um, this is something we did last time already and I think you can easily adapt this. Today we want uh, to get this one now to our TCP server, so to OpenCPN. And simply connecting this information doesn't help. We need an NMIR based stream here. So we need to convert something to NMIR. And we will do one example now. And this is just for Let's take the barometric pressure and at the end I will show you the, the final result. So let's do the important part step by step. Um, I uh, cut uh, the, pe uh, the debug node and you see this is uh, the last object we received, humidity, pressure and so on. We wanted to use pressure as an example. I will copy the path to pressure. We will use now a function node. Um, and we can link this already. And in this function node, we do very simple JavaScript. We will just take our complete payload object and we will uh, add our path here. 
So we will reduce this to the pressure value. What will happen? Instead of the complete object, we will now receive only the barometric value. Of course, you don't need a function node for that, um, but we need to do more. As this stream is not a mirror, this is just a number, so we need to get it to an mirror stream and I can recommend the OpenCPN uh, wiki for Enmir sentences. So you get all the information here, what kind of Enmir sentences OpenCPN is accepting. And for us, it is interesting to see the transducer values. So the transducer values are values um, like air temperature, barometric pressure, pitch, rolling, water temperature. We decided to go for barometric pressure and there's also one example in here. Um, this one here is for barometric. The structure is explained above. Just quickly, it always starts with the dollar or explanation mark. Then there's the type definition, so what kind of information will come. Then you have the um, Again, there's another type identifier because this one can not only carry, as you can see, uh, the barometer, it can also carry a temperature. There's the unit, of course, the value and the last three characters. So the star is a separator and the last two characters are the checksum. So we need to calculate a checksum for the sentence and the checksum is calculated without the dollar symbol at the uh, at the start here. So what we need is to take this value, put it in such a format here. There are several ways to do this um, and uh, calculate a checksum. Let's go. Okay, let's create our string. We use our function node and we will use just the plus symbol to combine string elements. So the first thing we need to do is, um, yeah, the, the type definition for the transducer value. And afterwards, uh, we need to tell them it's a P for pressure. Then the value comes. We got this value already with a plus, but it's uh, in millibars, so we will divide it by 1000. And then the next part needs to be added. So we need um, another B barometer. Oh, I think we need a comma here as well. And we should spell this correctly, barometer. And now the checksum needs to be calculated. This is not so easy. So let's first start this one, deploy it, and let's check what will uh, be added at our or will arrive at our payload um, debug node and we see okay there is already these this sentence and we created it and now just the sex checksum is missing so um, this is by the way the dashboard of OpenCPN I did already add barometric pressure air temperature and so on and let's connect I renamed this one now to pressure connect our function and deploy and what we will see is that no barometric pressure is received we still see the GPS in view but we don't see barometric pressure because the sentence has no checksum it doesn't accept this one without the checksum I didn't find a note for that so we need to yeah create our own um, calculation here in JavaScript so I need a variable checksum. Also, this is now done with a variable. It's easier for us. I will just call this send. You can define this, but it can be also defined automatically when you just do it like this. And we need a loop. The loop will say, OK, I have a start. And as long as uh, I didn't reach the length of my sentence, so I need to uh, take care about each character. I increase this one and I do the following. Um, you need to know that the checksum of Enmir is a simple X or combination of all characters. And that's the only thing we do here. So we will now just simply X or with this uh, symbol all sentence character at this point. So we take each character, we X or with the other one before. So with our uh, complete new number and that's it 
So that is already the loop and that's already what we need. The only thing missing is this is unfortunately a hex uh, um, decimal string and we need it in hexadecimal. So we can use uh, this one now. It's a function to change our checksum to a string with 16 as a base and that's hexadecimal. So now we got it in hexadecimal and we now cr need to create the complete payload but maybe we should see if this is working. So uh, let's say first of all we uh, payload is our checksum. Just to see if, the, if there's a checksum calculated and nothing else. Maybe we did a mistake somewhere. We can now see, uh, oh, there's already a mistake, so we can already correct this. Number to string doesn't sound very good. So let's correct this to string. Now it's also blue, another start. And we get a hexadecimal output. And what could be a good test as well is to take uh, the a demo from OpenCPN. So in OpenCPN we know that this needs to be a 29. Let's just take this sentence here. We will copy this one. Um, go back to node red. We will now just set our sentence to this demo here. Deploy. And let's see, we get a 29. So the checksum calculation is working. Very good. Um, let's remove this one again. And the only thing left, what we need to do now is instead of um, setting the checksum, we need to create the full sentence. So our full sentence is first the dollar symbol, then it's followed by our sentence um, then we need the star in front of the checksum and the checksum itself. Let's take another look what happens now. And we should get a full sentence with a dollar starting and with a checksum at the end. And when we now open the dashboard, OpenCPN shows us already a pressure value. You can do the same for the air temperature, it's just a different type. You, you find this also in the OpenCPN manual and that's how you can build all the uh, NMIR based sentences. Yeah, and based on this you can add some other information. So you can uh, take um, also the, uh, the air temperature in. So when um, I take a look at the, my OpenCPN dashboard. I also have the air temperature. I did this in the same message. I did a subflow for the sub uh, for the checksum calculation, but that's just optimization. And I did my own uh, dashboard here um, with some so on Node Red with some informations, uh, additional information from the GPS and from the BME 280. The next part would be to add the MPU 9250. Unfortunately, the node is not working anymore, which is existing. So um, yeah, this must be manually done. Um, but to understand how we can convert I square C centers to NMIR, this tutorial was hopefully helpful to you and you can start and continue from here on. Thank you for listening and see you on the next one.